Hey, welcome to my journey and to uh, Let's Cook. Hadn't done one of these in a while, but I had one person interested in this cabbage au gratin. So I'm like, I will do it for you, Tammy. Here you go. I just finished it. And it's very simple to make. It's a new way to make cabbage if you need a, a new way. Um, good way to get in a, a vegetable. You know, I had that nutritionist tell me that one time, if the only way you'll eat broccoli is with cheese sauce on it, she said, put that cheese sauce on it. She wanted you to eat those vegetables. So here you go. There's a perfect example. So, um, well, let's just, let's just turn around and make it. How about that? <laughs> First thing we got to do is saute our cabbage and our onions. I'm going to use a whole bunch of green onions. You can use as many as you like to taste. That's what I always tell you about onions. So let me chop these up. Okay, off to the side over here, I have a little bit of bacon grease um, that I'm going to cook this in. So let me put these in the pan. Okay, now this is a big head of cabbage. I'm going to see how much a half a head looks like. I'm probably going to do, well, this is not a half. This is a quarter. I'm probably going to end up doing a half. Let's see. Okay, so there's that much. Let me see what it looks like in the pan. Hold on. This is going to cook down, but I think this is plenty, even when it cooks down for this casserole. So that was a large head. So a quarter of a large head, half of a small. And what we want to do is we want to season it with some um, let me get the spoon in here. Uh, season salt. I couldn't think what I was trying to say. This is Lowry's. When I get to it, I have the homemade season salt I made somewhere in this cabinet. It was a copycat Lowry's. I don't exactly know where it is. So we are going to cook this until it is almost done because it's going to finish the last little bit in the oven. The cabbage is done. I have a sprayed two quart casserole dish that I'm going to put it in. You see how much it wilted down, but that's still um, a good amount for this dish. And then we will just set this aside. And in here, I have three eggs. I've already put some salt and pepper on them. I know we softened our cabbage, but we want to soften our eggs too. That was three eggs. This is one cup of milk, and it's just skim milk because that's what we drink. Okay, then I have one cup of cheddar, not cheddar, this is Swiss cheese, one cup of Swiss cheese. I'm just gonna pour this over top. Just kind of push it down in there a little bit. And then we will sprinkle the top with just some grated Parmesan cheese. You can measure it if you want to. I am not going to measure. I'm just going to sprinkle. That looks good. Now this will go in at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes until it is set in the middle. Here it is after 30 minutes. You can tell that I didn't even have to put a knife in it because you can tell that it's set. It smells insanely delicious. So we're going to scoop some out. Look at that. Oh, that is hot. Let me let this cool off and I'm going to give it a taste. That is some kind of good. It's better this time than the last time I made it. I think I got enough seasoned salt on it this time. 
so it has flavor. Last time it was plain, like I said, David likes plain food. <laughs> But it is very good. So if you like cabbage and you're looking for a new way to make it, here you go, cabbage all gratin. All right, that'll do it for me, and I'll see you on my next video.